What's up, nerd castle? Welcome back. So, I, I have an apology to give to all of you. Apparently, I've just been blundering around like an idiot thinking you can harvest enamel and magnesium from nodes. But actually, I think they're both in here. There's the enamel glass right there. You get the enamel from how I understand it. Now, that makes sense that I wouldn't know how to get enamel. You get it from stalker teeth, weirdly enough. And so, we've got to go hunt some stalkers. But magnesium is right here. It's actually just us combining all kinds of stuff. And so, let's make some magnesium, shall we? I feel like we've spent a couple episodes trying to track the stuff down. And it's left us in, it's, it's been the worst for wear. It's been like four episodes now, and we've accomplished basically nothing. So we need to get this going right this moment. And I don't know if that counts as, so, we have the mic, so what is the combustible then? Like, it says that we need something combustible, but I still, I'm a little bit confused about what that entails. I mean, in all honesty, we don't have anything in here that says that it's combustible that we can craft. Out of our materials... It looks like we don't have anything in here either that's combustible. And so it leaves me with a number of questions that I'm not really sure how to satisfy. I mean, I've gone through a lot of the stuff right now, and I figure this is probably something I should have looked up before. But, you know, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to look it up in just a moment. But while we're on that, I think we should probably get to work. Let's create ourselves so we've got the personal gear, right? If we can make a stasis rifle, it needs an advanced wiring kit. It needs silicone, a power cell, and an advanced... What is an advanced wiring kit? And that's going to be tough to make, isn't it? It's going to suck. An advanced wiring kit takes two gold. Oh, that's not actually so bad. So we need to find some more opalescent gems. That's actually a word. You can say that a gem looks opalescent. It means opalescent means that it has kind of like a... Not like a translucence, but you know... You know what happens when oil is on the ground? Oil is mixed with water and light hits it and it does kind of that rainbow refraction type deal. That's opalescent right there. Except on the top of like a white surface would be opalescent. So it would be a white surface that gives us the same kind of thing that oil does. In case... It, so if you were wondering what happened here, I have no idea. These used to be next to each other. In between episodes, I wish I had captured it on film. I was a little bit disappointed, or at least captured it in digitized form. My pod launched itself into the sky with me inside of it. It ejected me out like way over to there, and then it fell back down out of the sky. And so that's why it's so far separate at the moment. I haven't looked up how I'm going to fix that for right now because I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. We could probably get on top of that later. However... For right now, let's go find ourselves some opal. It should be around here somewhere. It's not hard to find. Typically, it's on the side of these little bluffs or whatever. I should have stored... Actually, didn't I store some? Let's go back over here and have a look, because I'm pretty sure that I stored it somewhere, but... Like... Let's see... I think we had something down... Unless this is a completely different location now. Because it launched up in the air, we may have lost our storage location. Or it may be slightly more difficult to find. I hadn't thought about that. That's a little bit embarrassing. That means that our storage location... Eh. Oh, that's so weak. That's such a random bug. And, like, people aren't going to believe me now when I say it either. They're going to be like, oh, he's just joking around. Splatter guy doesn't know what he's talking about. There we go. We've got that right there. So is scrap metal... It says construction material. I have no idea what we're looking for as far as... combustibles I mean so I let's figure it out so combustibles I guess those little fish blow up don't they maybe you get them from those little fish that blow up I mean that's the only thing I could think of I was starting to think of things that explode and it's either gonna be down in like the sulfur environment or B it's gonna be from one of those little explosive fish and since the explosive fish seem like something that's a little bit easier to track down Maybe we'll give that a go. Oh, yeah, I needed opal up out of this, didn't I? So, unfortunately, since there's no way for me to move this around, I may have to put a beacon over here, too, or at least move our storage around slightly. Let's take a look. So, we've got storage. I need opal out of one of these. Can I reach that one over there? No, I don't want the big coral tube. The big coral tube can go sit and spin. I need this over here. Did I leave anything? Oh, I didn't. Why do I keep dumping my stuff? See, that's why I'm a big giant noob, because I keep getting rid of stuff that, like, we have... And then every single time I gotta go out and find it somewhere. It's gonna be tracked down. I think these things over here. Mm, those them? Yep, those are them. Luckily we've got a big supply like right next to where we are. If only gems grew on discs like that. So we only need a couple of those. I'll bust a few of those off for right now. And so we needed the opal for an advanced wiring kit, was it? So for the advanced wiring kit, we needed gold, we needed silver, we needed many, many precious materials. Why they're precious? I don't know. They're just kind of cute like that. They open their eyes up nice and big, and they're like, ah. 
and everybody's like, oh my god, I want gold and silver, it's so precious. So we got the gold, we got the magnesium, let me throw some salt up in here because I farmed out salt in between episodes in case you were wondering. I got some filtered water right there that I'm going to drink right this moment. And now that I have gotten that filtered goodness all up inside my body, all up inside my body. I'm going to take some, yeah, just grab, like, all these random semi-precious materials, too. That's right. You didn't know that semi-precious gems exist and semi-precious metals do. In fact, the irony right now is that some of the semi-precious metals are worth more than the actual precious metals. Not like clothes, but they're actually worth a lot. Like copper, for example, just is exploding in price. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse because it's getting rarer and rarer and rarer. We're actually sort of running out of it. It's hard to get. We can make silicone very, very easily, so I'm going to make that right now. The next thing up that we needed to make... Aside from our Stestis rifle, we needed to make ourselves a computer chip, which is right there. <laughs> we needed quartz for it. Of course we did. Of course we needed quartz for it. Why wouldn't we? Because I just spent all my quartz. And so let's go out and find another little clump of quartz. What I've noticed when I was going around trying to farm out the salt for in-between episodes, what I noticed is that we've actually done a really, really good job at getting rid of everything in this area. Like, seriously, we have consumed, like, every single resource that is in this area. It's been nasty. So there's the course that we needed. Let's head on back. Long, long swim in front of us. Not that long of a swim, but it's still, it's long enough to make me be like, this is mildly inconvenient. And so I bring it up in conversation straight up through the pod anus right there, and then we'll go out this side. We can make our computer chip, bam bam, bomb, processor assembled. Now we just need the advanced wiring kit, which requires two gold, and I guess that I only have the one gold. So did I have any gold in here? I did. That's fantastic, because that saves me time. We'll grab this right here, and we've got the advanced wiring kit all taken care of. Now on top of the wiring kit, we had the advanced wiring kit, we had the silicone. I don't remember what the other thing was that we needed. A power cell. That's probably down here. And that requires multiple batteries. So we're going to have to run down a few more of these little guys down here. Luckily, we spawn in an area that has, like, everything that we need for battery production. That's going to be most of our inventory. And then the rest of it is going to be copper. Jump back up in here. And we should have plenty of copper. Like, seriously, I pick up copper so frequently that I feel that it's probably all over the place. We've got that right there. Okay, going on. And we'll make the two batteries. I think you need something else supplementary in order for it to be a power cell as well. I'm actually going to make the two right here because the extra battery that it's drawing from right there is going to be from our surplus or our man plus depending on who's watching. We'll go right there and we've got another power cell. Silicone taken care of. That should be enough to get us all nice and set up. <clears throat> we needed the extra silicone. Balls. Alright, so let's go track down a little bit more quartz. It's weird that we don't pronounce the Q in that. It's quartz. Got to find ourselves some quartz. We call it quartz. We just like go straight over it. I don't know. I'm going to call it quartz from now on because it makes me happy. And you have to do it in that voice too. Otherwise, it's not quite as fun. Quartz. We're finding some quartz over here underneath the ocean. Who wants to find some quartz with me? But we say quark. Why do we say quark but we don't say quartz? Doesn't make sense to me. Weird things happening in the universe right now without explanation. That radiation zone is causing me all kinds of pain. So I think I should probably make the suit next. We should also probably find some of those little combustible fish, but we haven't done it yet because, meh, efficiency is not a thing that I practice very much. In fact, I don't practice anything other than talking very often. And how you practice, I get a lot of people that ask me how I motor mouth like I do. Yes, I am aware of my efficiency first. Have lots and lots of ADD. That's the first part. Have ADD just out your ass. Mine, I don't, I don't, I've never been diagnosed with ADD, but I had this period in my life after I turned like 23 or 24 where I noticed I had a lot of trouble focusing on things. And ever since then, it's just gotten ridiculously worse. Like, I walk through rooms. It's infuriating because, like, my state of mind, I'll describe it to all of you. Everything that is not stimulating bores me, but everything that is stimulating and would not bore me, I can't keep my attention on long enough to actually, like, pay attention to it. And so, it's like this most infuriating state of mind to be in, like, 90% of the time where I can't focus, but I need to focus because I'm bored all the time. And it's just like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even... Yeah! It seems like they... Oh, this thing costs energy now? No! I liked it better when it was ammo-less. And I could just spam it at my enemies like the badass stasis field wielding bastard that I am. Basically, we're the daughter from the Incredibles right now, which is pretty incredible, I guess. How full is my inventory? Go away. Yep, you go away. I'm gonna eat you right now. I'm gonna eat you. And so now we ate that right there. We've got air sacs and things hanging out. 
The other thing, oh yeah, we needed teeth from our dear stalkery friends. That was the whole point in all this. So let's go carve some teeth off the ichthyosaurs over here. They're called stalkers, but I like calling them other things. I'm going to try and stay real wide when we go over here. Because the radiation field is pretty large. Pretty nasty and large, and I don't feel like getting irradiated. It's a great way to lose a lot of health very, very quickly. And so the zone that we're looking for looks like it's down and in over here somewhere. Nope, that's just brain coral. Damn it, disoriented as always. Not really disoriented, just sort of like floating in any direction that I see fit. I have so many trouble talking about fits. I went and I bought clothes the other day. I have so much trouble buying clothes. Like, I'm in between an adult small and an adult medium. Everybody else that has this problem will say it. I'm in between the two sizes. And so, like, 90% of mediums don't fit me properly, but, like, 90% of smalls don't fit me properly. And so, buying clothing is just an exercise in me buying shit that I'm never going to use and I end up donating anyways because it fits me weird after it shrinks. It sucks. It's like a recurring problem in my entire life where I'm stuck in between size ratings and it's just... It would be frustrating if I cared more, but... Where are you at, stalkers? I know you're down in here somewhere. You're always trying to bite me whenever I come down here, and now the one time I have a gun, you don't want to hang out anymore. This is like real life all over again. They'll be like, yo, I heard somebody was coming for you, trying to split that brain pan. Got one round for you, trying to split that wig. I'm like, oh, I'm going to lay low now. I don't want to fight that dude anymore. Mm-mm. Nope. This got real. I'm out. No, thank you. I don't play around with guns. I listen to my Johnny Cash. Especially when those guns is pointed at me. Nope, never had a gun pointed at me. Never planning on having a gun pointing at me. I feel like diplomacy is broken down markedly if anybody's ever pointing a gun at me. And diplomacy is like one of my strong points. It's one that I focus on. Because I'm small. You know, like this whole like fisticuff thing never really worked out for me because, you know, I'm tiny. So anyway, stop and freeze where you are, you bastard. Yeah, stasis field. It's no fun now, huh? He looks kind of humdrum about this whole thing. I am going to carve you up. It is going to be legit. Sorry. I mean, I would do this a more humane way, but... So how do I get a stalker tooth? Do I carve it out of its mouth, or, like, how does this work? Do I just keep carving? He's doing, like, a little dance. I go to die at the bottom of the ocean. There's, like, a little happy dance right there. That's what he gets. That's what he gets for trying to kill me so many times. It doesn't look like I can do much with the body. I can rub myself on it. Mmm, <laughs> stalker body all over my face. So do you get stalker teeth from like your ass after they bite you? Or how does that work? Oh, my knife broke! Oh, that is balls. That is booze. I don't know. Oh, that sucks. So now I gotta make a new knife? That's not cool. That's gonna cost me all kinds of goodies like titanium. Titanium. Alright, well, let me make a cut real fast. I gotta go back and get a knife, and then we'll come back over here. Lame! Alright, so I don't know. People said to hand off metal to him, and sometimes they'll drop teeth. I don't know. So he just ate that metal right there. I see no teeth. Like, there are zero teeth around. Interesting. And now he's trying to kill me again after Tay. Oh, there's two of them. Never mind. Alright, well, I kind of wish that I could just kill him at this point. Make it a lot easier to get those teeth. Obviously, if I kill him, I can just pull his teeth out. Unfortunately, I looked it up, and the drop rate seems to be really skewed. There's a lot of people complaining about it right now on the build that's currently up where they can't get stalker teeth. You can just sit around for like an hour feeding metal to them, and they don't give you anything. I don't know if that's on me or if it's on the game or what it is. You can also get air from these little bubbles right here, which is pretty dope. I actually never realized that before until I started playing the game a little bit more. You need to stop that right this second. I'm trying to get some oxygen right now, and you are ruining... You're messing up, you're messing up my Christmas right now, and it's not okay. It's shitting all over my Christmas. Alright, well, I guess I can give it another try. Let's go gather up some metal and see if maybe we can bring that back and make this work better. I don't know. Maybe it's certain ones. Like, maybe the ones in the shallows we'll have better luck with. Either way, I've gone through almost an entire, like, two batteries just sitting around here doing nothing, trying to get these things to drop a tooth. I fed them metal. I gave them metal. I watched them as they picked up and enjoyed metal. Unfortunately, none of it seems to be very functional, so... Yes, it is what it is. Let's see here. Let's hand this off. Here, you. You want this? Look, I got metal. Ah, Always with the friends. Always with the friends. And so they said to check at the bottom, underneath, like, after you give them metal, and they'll drop the teeth some... Ah, oh, you little bastard. I hate you so much right now. Gave away my metal and didn't get a single tooth. This is boo. This is complete and total boo. Boo. 
so what is that? Do you have... Can I take your teeth out of your mouth right now? Will that make... Oh, there goes one right there. There it is. I see it. We need that ish. Oh, we got one. Okay, so they're also the same color as the bottom. Oh, that's all kinds of troublesome. Yikes. That's bad right there. So maybe focus on... So you gotta follow them, I guess. Oh, there it goes right there. Okay. So you gotta follow them while they chew on the metal. And when they chew on the metal, they randomly fall out. They do like a little emote thing. And then a tooth falls out. Oh. Watch. See right there? They do like a little emote in between where they chew a little bit. Hold on. Give me another one. I don't know how many of these I need, but I think I need two or three. So let's just stock up for right now so I don't have to do this ever again. I think those two are too busy to like trying to kill each other to really care. Or trying to kill me. I guess that would be the other way around. And yeah, it looks like they don't have time to do the emote. If they're stealing it from each other, it looks like they don't have time to drop the tooth. Yeah, there it is right there. That might have been the problem with those two that we were following is they were so busy stealing the metal from each other over and over again that they didn't have time to do the little emote thing that they do when they drop a tooth. So it looks like they have to carry it around for a certain amount of time before the two drops, like maybe like four to five seconds. And so we got the teeth. I do like that mechanic, but it's definitely sort of like one of those things where you have to sit and observe and watch. And me being impatient like I am, you know, the modern generation of Gimme Right Now Gaming started to come through where I'm just like, how do I get the tooth? Just give me the damn tooth. Like, <laughs> We got it sorted out. It worked out in the end. We're probably going to make some more batteries too, so I'll get on top of that in just a moment. The last thing that I wanted to do in this episode is I was really thinking about isolate. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that was salt right there. Unfortunately, it is not because we could definitely use just some random transient salt on our way back to base if it's around. Hunger's looking a little bit low. I would have cut a little bit of vine while I was out there, but too busy getting chased and things trying to nibble on us and I don't like being nibbled on it just it doesn't it doesn't arouse me in the way that one might assume it's just eh, I mean I guess you can give it a go if you're feeling really really what does glass require a ton of quartz okay well what we can do for right this moment because I think that we've got a number of things that all need to be handled I think what could be done let's drop those off Get rid of the silver ore. We'll get rid of the magnesium. We'll get rid of some of this random... I don't even know why I'm carrying around half this stuff. We've got a lot of things inside of our inventory that we don't necessarily need right now. We do have quartz right there, so we could make the glass right this second. Let's make ourselves some food because we're going to starve if we don't. And so the cooked oculus, as I recall, was actually pretty good for you. So we'll make the cooked oculus. And then since we made cooked oculus, I'll also make a peeper. And that should get us back up to maybe like 50, 60-ish percent. There we go. And so our vital signs are recovering. That's not going to hold us forever, but it'll hold us for right now. And sometimes you just need to be held for a little while. Just one little hug to get you through the day. And I slipped and fell off my desk right there for a second. I put my elbow on the side of my desk and I slid because there was a piece of, I don't know, it's like a napkin or something. And it, it added a little bit of slipperiness to the desk. And so I just fell off, which is why it sounded like my voice went a long ways away. Because I was like, oh, and I was busy falling. What else do I have in my little storage rig over here? Because if I can grab some copper, we can make some more batteries for the Sea Glide. Because it's about to go out. I also didn't look up how we recharge this. I assume that it is doable somehow. I just haven't really figured it out. Oh, you press... Maybe you highlight it and press R? I don't know. We'll have to play around with it. We will have to play around with it. Lots of interesting little mechanics in this game that I'm not accustomed to. So I'll take those... Storage, what you got for me? A little bit of salt, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay. So we don't really... We need copper, I guess. So let's go grab some of the acid things. I know we got a couple of them around. So there's one battery, two battery, red battery, blue battery, whatever color battery you want. Doesn't really matter as long as it functions. Where did my pod go? There it is. Got to grab my pod real fast. Every once in a while, you just got to spend some time and grab your pod. Copper ore right there. Hey, fishing, and we got something out. That's very, very nice. And then the other stuff that we need is quartz, although this area is largely going to be farmed out. God, there's so many little things that we have to accomplish right now that I'm having trouble keeping them all straight. You'd think I would just focus on one thing at a time, but nope, I focus on all of them simultaneously because that's how I roll. Let's make ourselves another battery. I wanted to test this out and make sure that I know how this works. 
There's another, maybe I need a power cell. Maybe that's what it is. It runs off the bigger power cell. I bet that's what it is. It runs off the, it's called a power cell when you highlight it. I bet it runs off the bigger power cell right there. Okay. So we've got that stuff all out of our inventory. Still carrying around lithium for some reason. I don't know why. Quartz. Quartz is next up, and then I wanted to find the little explosive guys before we finish this episode off. You might luck out and get a long episode right here. I don't know. Let's play around with it. It's a little combust. Hey, salt. Hell yeah. I like salt. Grab that. Okay. And let's find ourselves a cave, because that tends to be where these little bastards hang out at. We are a tad low on health, so this experimentation may not work out so great for us. I think you have to knife them before they get to you or something like that. Or maybe they just blow up all over the place and there's nothing you can do about it. So I... Ah, there's crash meal in... Oh. Okay, so I guess it's maybe like the awful. Or like the shit of one of those little crash creatures. I don't really know. But it worked out, so we got what we needed. That should allow us to make the welder in the next episode. I don't think I'm going to need like five or six of it, so I'll get rid of two of it for right now so that my inventory isn't completely and totally overloaded. And then I'm going to break it off right here. I'm going to go track down some quartz in between here and the next episode so that hopefully in the next episode we'll get the Cyclops up and running once again. My other save, it doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately, because I uninstalled and I clear out my save files and everything like that every now and again. So unfortunately, we could have restarted the other spot, but then again, my other concern is that, like, what if there was a whole lot more steps in the game that they had added, and I think I was right about that. Like, they added a whole bunch of stuff to the early game that did not previously exist, and so I'm glad that we got to explore that as well. I know there were some complaints from people in the audience about the fact that I started over again, but I think it's important because you got to see the stuff in the early game as well, and a lot of stuff has changed. And so if my videos can be helpful to people that are playing the new build, I would prefer that it be that way. So anyways, I'm going to try and get myself healed in between here and the next episode. We'll try and get a lot of stuff done so that when we get fired up to start again, we'll be good to go. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here. In the next episode, we'll have the Cyclops up and running. I promise it's going to be super awesome. I will see you all there. Hi, do, everybody.